<laughs> what else do you say? Let's, oh. Hey, hey, folks. Uh, Jiminy Critic here, as you can see. I'm, well, I'm playing with my dolls again. <laughs> I've been accused of that before. As you can see, I'm having fun with Buzz and Woody here, and we're going to talk today about the new Pixar Disney Pixar release of the third installment of the Toy Story movies, Toy Story 3. And this movie is brought to you in either regular 2D version or you can go out and see a 3D version of the movie if you'd like to. It was done in Disney Digital and I'm sure that's fantastic. For my review, we just happened to go to the regular theater with the 2D and I'll tell you what. Uh, I was claiming a little bit ago that uh, the summer 2010 movie a couple weeks back here was Karate Kid with Jaden Smith and I still love that movie. Toy Story 3 I think is going to be the other summer crasher. It's just going to last. I think they've done a great job with uh, the Toy Story 3 stories. You can see we've got a lot of the toys and, and fun gadgets that my kids have played with throughout the years during the Toy Story um, scenario. The first movie, of course, came out in 1995 and broke all sorts of ground in computer animated movie uh, things. And then in 1999, when Toy Story 2 came out, uh, my son was about three and a half at that point and fell in love with the movie, and that's where a lot of these toys came from. Well, this year, 11 years later, 2010, they've come up with Toy Story 3, and now my three and a half year old son is playing with these same toys and we saw the movie as a family and he absolutely loved it. Uh, this is kind of interesting to me. We had an age range when we saw this movie, a group from zero to 10. We had one person in that range. We had one in the 11 to 20 age range. We had one in the 30 to 40 age range, one in the 40 to 50 age range, and two in the 60 to 70 age range. All together at this movie, everyone came out of the theater and loved the movie from the youngest to the oldest and I think that's pretty rare when you have a movie that everyone in the family youngest to oldest can actually come away and enjoy it get something out of it have a good time with it it's clean it's family oriented as of course the Toy Story movies are the basic premise of this movie real quick I'm not going to give away all the secrets you need to see this yourself of course these toys all belong to Andy I don't even know if he's on nope not on this boot but Andy is the owner of these toys as you know and we finally reach the age where Andy is ready to go to college. So what happens to all the toys and stuff that he's played with for all those years? They're gonna be pretty lonely. Well, just the basic premise of this movie is they find out that he's going to give them away to the Sunnyside daycare, where they can be played with and played with and played with by young children, you know, that are in the daycare center and they won't be neglected and alone, but that leads the story into places where <laughs> there's all sorts of fun, danger, escape, whatever. You get to meet some actual new toys into this uh, Toy Story 3 movie that they haven't introduced before and they're always a lot of fun. Disney Pixar has done a great job with Toy Story 3 and I definitely recommend that you go out and see this movie uh, before it's too late. Here we go. Ah, 